if you are not as good as me in drawing and you see people creating beautiful assets on the internet and you think I'm never gonna be able to create assets for my game think again see these beautiful assets of dead cells these were all created just using 3d wanna learn how we're gonna do all of this in three simple step step one we're gonna get all of the assets we need step two we're gonna set up our project and render our assets and step three we're gonna finalize everything and turn into a spreadsheet so let's get started for the 3d model you can model your own 3d model or get it from platforms like sketchfab and turbo squid cg trader and a bunch of other platforms i'm just using this among us character that i got from sketchfab uh, it's pretty simple i have this texture that the developer provide you can use a traditional tune shader but why not use this one now i have this asset and i will use this one animations again from the person i got these assets from Let's add a camera and by facing the direction we want our camera to be and drag it here G to move it to the position we want. Let's hit the navigation menu and lock it to the camera's view. Set the resolution to 1024 by 1024 and select the angle you want. Make sure you run the animations you are having and select a size where no animation is out of the frame. And that'll save you a lot of hassle once you have the camera set up set the perspective to orthographic that will make everything look 2d if you go to the render mode you can see everything is black for that your texture needs to be emitting it means it should be an emission texture or the texture should be plugged in the emission tab if you're using a tune shader you need to find another way set the film to to transparent for transparent background and let's go to the color management and set our color to standard that will make everything look like you set at the color picker go to the output tab and set the file destination to somewhere you like the animation frames to be saved and it's time to render it make sure your animation is a limited number of frames else you will get duplicate frames and let's render it out or well, let's go and the file has been rendered now let's go to the place where your files are and delete the duplicate frames let's run through them to confirm they are all right and I think these are beautiful now you can bring them into a software like Krita and import these frames process might vary for programs and let's confirm the animations and change the size I'm gonna set it to 500 by 500 be careful and the set the size you want and let's now render them as spreadsheet for that I'm using an add-on I'll link it down in the description and I'll, now I have my spreadsheet ready to go 